Good morning, Asbury Woods friends. For today's virtual visit, I'm going to be showing you how to turn a simple nature walk into a treasure hunt with the help of some egg cartons and a wonderful book called Treasure. Let's get started. So for the nature hike portion of the activity, you can really do the treasure hunting in any area in your community, in your own backyard, a walk down the sidewalk, or a visit to the Asbury Woods trails. There's lots of different things to collect this time of year, even though it seems like there's not a lot out, there's actually a lot of fun things. So here's the completed treasure hunt that my children did, and they were able to find a lot of fun stuff. We found rocks, we found little berries, we found a seed pod from a milkweed, we even found a little gall where an insect was overwintering in this milkweed plant. Let me show you what it was like when I was out with my kids. Say, yeah, tell mommy, what are we doing with that? We are cooking treasures in it. We are. And we are we finding lots of cool stuff to put in our boxes? Yeah. What are we looking for next? Um, acorns. Okay, let's do it. For your youngest children, you might want to give them a container like a simple egg carton. That You can see in this egg carton I've placed three different little pieces of construction paper of different colors. When I do this activity with smaller children, I'll select colors that I know are abundant in nature at the particular time of year where we're doing our treasure hunt. And I'll task the children with finding nature objects that fit inside the little pockets of the egg carton. They can find more than one object that matches the color of their tray, but they need to find at least one object for each color, and it needs to be small enough to fit in the pocket. If I want to challenge them, I might give them a color that might be a little bit more difficult to find, but I like to make sure that there's at least two colors that I know that are abundant. So you can mix it up with different colors uh, so, each th so each child can have uh, their own individual tray, and they can have the fun of discovering different things as well. So this is what I like to do for my little kids. For older children, I might give them an egg carton like this. And you can see that I put in a guided table here with both pictures and words representing objects that I would like them to find. But again, they're looking for uh, versions of those objects that are small enough to fit into the egg pockets. So this is really appropriate for preschool, kindergarten, and younger elementary age students when you give them both the table with words and pictures to help them. If I wanted to make this activity a little bit more challenging for older kids, I wouldn't give them the key at all, but I would let them collect the objects that are interesting to them and ta then task them with making the scientific key themselves on the computer or by writing it out with words on a piece of paper. Once you've got your treasure boxes all created, you're ready to go on your nature hike. 